Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. We are going to start a new series of Python Open PY Excel with the combination of other Python library like Excel SX Writer, Win32, Excel Wings, etc. This series will help you in terms of Excel automation and analysis. So guys, we all know that Python is a dominant everywhere and also we know that compared to other languages as well. So Python is a beginner friendly and simple to learn. All right. So any automation process will go more smoothly when we are familiar with Python and Microsoft Excel. So guys, in today's session, we are going to discuss about OpenPY Excel. So OpenPY Excel is a very popular Python package for handling the Excel files and it often used for data analysis, data copying, data mining, create chart and styling of a spreadsheet. Or you can say that we can add the formula and a lot of things we can do with the help of OpenPY Excel. So this package is very helpful for data analysts, or you can say that for data scientists or whomsoever is working on Microsoft Excel related task or project, okay? So OpenPY Excel main components are like workbook, sheet, cell, row, column, etc. okay? So first of all, let me show you the key features and uses of OpenPY Excel. So guys, with the help of OpenPY Excel, we can read and writing into the Excel file. Okay, so it means OpenPY Excel allow user to read data from the existing file as well as write the data into the new Excel file. And the second is we can do with the help of data analysis. It means a user can perform data analysis tasks on Excel data and manipulate the content and extract relevant information if need. Similarly, we can perform data mining, okay, which facilitates the extraction of the data from Excel files and enabling user to mine information for further analysis. And the next point is we can create the chart as well. It means user can create an interactive chart in graph based on the data in Excel files using this library. And the guys, the next point is, is styling spreadsheet. So OpenPY Excel provides option for formatting and styling Excel sheet, which allow user to enhance the visual presentation of their data. And the next thing is a very, very important. User can add and manipulate formulas within the Excel sheet using OpenPY Excel. So this kind of concept is a very, very important in case you are going to transform your data with the help of Excel formulas. So OpenPY Excel will help you a lot. So let's jump very quickly on Jupyter Notebook to explore the features of OpenPY Excel, all right? So first of all, I have to import the package, let's say OpenPY Excel, simple. In case you are getting any exception like this package is not installed in your system, so simple, you can write here, pip install OpenPY Excel, simple concept. So first of all, guys, I am going to create a new workbook. So how we can create a new workbook with the help of OpenPY Excel? So it is a very, very simple, so I am taking a variable, let's say workbook equal to OpenPY Excel dot workbook. Make sure your W should be caps. And here I am going to create a, let's say, let's say seat one and simple, let's say workbook dot active. And here the seat A1. And here, let's say I am writing hello, or let's say in the seat one, again, in the B1, I am writing, let's say, everyone for an example you can write anything and i am going to save this workbook with the help of let's say sample.xlsa simple concept okay so let me check here it should be seat one right so is done how can i check let me import the library of os and os.listdir so you can see here i have created this sample.xlsa file let me show you so guys you can see here this is the file let me open and here you can see I have created a sheet and here on the A1 and B1, I have written, hello, everyone. Similarly, let's say if I want to read the data, okay, from the existing file. So how can I read? So let's suppose I am taking a variable again, workbook and open PY Excel. It means I am going to loading a workbook, loading a workbook and reading a Excel file or spreadsheet. So open PY Excel and here I am writing a load workbook and the workbook name is sample.xlsx. Simple. And here the sheet equal to workbook. And here I'm going to define the sheet name. Let's say it's your seat in this 
file, right? And let's say I am going to read a cell value. So seat A1 dot value, and I can print here the cell value. Simple concept. Similarly, if you want to print the value of from the B1 dot value, so we can process accordingly. Simple concept. In some cases, let's say if you want to adding a new worksheet in this existing workbook. All right. So how we can create a new worksheet? So I am taking a variable, let's say new sheet, and here wkb dot create sheet, and here let's say I am going to create a sheet with the help of the name of Python, right? And now new sheet, and here a one dot value equal to let's say programming is fun. I am going to write here and wkb dot save, and here let's say sample dot Excel essay. Let me close this, and now I am going to run this. So it is run successfully. Now let me launch this file again. So you can see here the timestamp, right? Which is the current timestamp. So this is existing sheet, and now I have created a brand new sheet, which is Python, and which is stored programming is fun. So it is a very very easy. And guys, similarly, let me perform some more operations. Based on the spreadsheet, it means let's say if I want to changing the sheet name, okay, and its color. So how can I do that? Okay, so simple. Let's say you know again. Let me you know open to open py excel. If you will write these line couple of times, so you can remember for a long time. So sample dot excel sx and here ws w dot active. Okay, now I am going to printing the current worksheet name. In case, let's say what I am doing here, ws dot title, and here I am going to create a let's say sales analysis. Simple, all right. So I am going to changing the sheet name. So currently was only the sheet. Now I am going to change into the sales dot analysis, and ws dot sheet property, and that property is I am going to change only the tab color, and here you can give you know. Any hexa color as well, in case you want. Okay, and in case you want to, you know, see that updated title, so you can see here. Let me first of all, you know, close this, and now let me tab color. What is the mistake? So W dot sheet properties. Let me check. Okay, one more time. Yeah. So now let me open. Okay, I think we have to save this file, right? So let me do one thing: wkb or wb dot save sample dot excel sx. All right. So let me load this. I have done this and save the file. So you can see here the current sheet name was sheet. But now we have changed into the sales analysis, and we have changed the tab color as well. It's a very, very interesting concept, guys. And apart from that, let's say in some cases you want to add the spreadsheet. It means how we can adding data into the worksheet, into the worksheet. So we have seen how we can add a single sheet. In case, let's say you want to add the data into the worksheet. So how can I do that? This is a very very interesting concept. So let's say I am taking a list of names. So list of name I am taking for an example. Let's say Corey. Any name. Let's say Modi. And here Amit. And Putin. And Biden. And Trump. For an example. All right. Now I am going to apply a loop over this list. This is zero and length of LST of name, and here let me you know WS WS is is my current worksheet which is sales analysis, and here on the A it means over the cell A one right. So what I am doing here plus STR, and I am going to say I plus one. Why at the I plus one? Because we don't have any cell in the Microsoft Excel which is A zero, we have A one, A two, A three, and so on and so forth. So I am using here the plus one equal to value, 
and from the list of name i am taking a value of index of zero simple concept so is done and guys let me tell you the another way as well to insert this data so i am writing here another way so for i in range let's say zero and length of lst of name and here i am using ws dot cell property okay so you know very well cell is construct in the microsoft excel with the help of row and column so i am writing here row equal to let's say i plus 1 and here i am writing the column equal to let's say i want to insert the data in column 2 so here you can see here a a1 a2 a3 it means the column a and here i am going to save the data into the column 2 which represent as a b column let's say value equal to lst dot name of i and here okay and here i am going to save my workbook let's say wb dot save and again with the help of same name sample excel sx let me run this if i am going to open that excel right then you will see the changes and whatever the name we have added so i have added the data successfully in the a1 a2 and so on and so forth similarly i have inserted the data with the help of row and column so i was taking the row let's say i plus 1 and the column was 2 very very easy right and the last thing is in some cases let's say you want to read this data same right you want to read this data with the help of open py excel so it means how we can read the data from the excel okay so it means reading data from a spreadsheet for column in ws ws is my worksheet name you can see here right if i am going to ws dot title so this is the sales analysis so ws the column i am going to refer column a if i want to read the each value one by one so you can see here okay so let me write here column dot value column dot value okay clear similarly if i want to read the data from second column so i can target a column b and again i am writing column dot value interesting okay and you know sometimes people are using this concept as well for column in ws and the range start from a colon b like this so if i am writing here let's say call so you will see the address of each cell similarly you can do let's say for row in sheet dot iter rows and here minimum row equal to one okay and the maximum row equal to let's say only five row i have min column i have one and the max column i have only the two like this and now can i use the row here so you can see this concept as well all right although you can use here the ws as well so you will have the same result from the sales analysis a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 and i have used the column two right b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 okay in case let's say you want to you know retrieve that data so simple what i need to do is so guys please focus here only one parameter you have to add that is called values only equal to true so when you will mention this particular information so you will have the each row data in the form of tuple look at this core and core okay it means i am reading this data from a first column and i am reading this data from a second column interesting similarly let's say if i am going to change this if i want to read the data based on the based on the columns based on the columns so i have a minimum row 1 maximum row 5 minimum column 1 max column 2 and values equal to values only equal to true so if i am reading this data in the form of column so i will have let's say you know core core okay then modi and modi and amit and amit and so on and so forth look at this all right so based on the rows and based on the columns you can read the data so guys in case if you are not aware how many rows and how many column i have in my spreadsheet so in this situation you have to follow different approach so we are not discussing that approach in 
today's session we will be explore more open py excel in upcoming session so overall open py excel is a powerful and flexible tool for working with the excel files in python and it's providing a convenient interface for performing a wide range of excel related tasks in data analysis and manipulation and workflows so for now do the practice of this session as much as you can and thanks for watching and have a great day